Starting first from talking heads Across your ways from walking in Over saturation Some are trapped in it On the radio, screaming noise, 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 selling us all they agree. Have we lost our voice? There is no poetry, no stories to be told, no more songs. Destroy your eyes, your eyes. Yeah, here's our, here's our story so far in Portland. We drove how many hours? We 14. left. We, yeah, 14. we left at 1:30 or two. Last Reno, night, yeah. Played Sparks, Nevada, last mm -hmm. night, and drove straight here uh, after the show. Rolled right up here, to sound like check. Ten minutes before loading time. Yeah. We wanted to get to the hotel for an hour, but that didn't happen. Just no big time. deal. So we didn't take actual showers. We took like what we call a bird bath. You know, you go to the sink and you have a little one of these guys. You know. That's Both. why the beginning of the interview earlier tonight sucked. Yeah, we were actually not here yet. We're just kind of zombies still, you know? Like total road yeah, yeah. zombies. Truck zombies. Um, bewildered a little bit. Yeah. Um, we've since uh, gained our footing, walked around town, uh, broke our juicer. Yeah, so this is the first tour that we've brought our juicer on. So on the rider, we have juicing stuff like kale, apples, lemons, cucumbers, and, ginger. Uh, ginger, ginger. And, uh, but we can't get a juicer that can stand up. A road tested juicer. We keep them. We get the Jack Lane one, and it's broke. And then I went to Target, and they didn't have any other juicer, so I bought another one of those, which was now broken again. But Brian came up with a genius idea. Well, there's a juice. There's like a juicing place down the street, so we brought all our fucking produce over there, and we're like, hey, we got this bag of produce. We broke our juicer. We're on the road. Will you juice this for us? And then that was totally cool. Oh, that's was, pretty nice. The place is called he was Cure. Stoked about it, yeah. Nice, nice, nice people. Yeah, Cure, Portland, Oregon. Uh, I thought it would be a Jamba juice or something. Fuck that, man. No, it's a, it's like a real deal juicing place. This is tequila now. See, but you guys, you guys try to pretty much eat healthy on the road. Then. Extremes. In your juice? Uh, we try. Well, this, this is, the this other is juice. like it's kind of like you can't more. avoid eating. We juice this out of pure. Do you guys put beets? Do you guys juice with beets as well? Oh yeah, yeah. I call it, that's like the tracer, you know, because then you, you know. That's a very high antioxidant. Yeah. And you get those purple, uh, <laughs> you know, bowel movements, and you take a piss, and you're like, it's all fucking weird. Yeah, looking. that like, is. It's kind working. Of weird, yeah. I, I never got that until I lived in Santa Cruz, which is where I first saw you guys. Oh cool. Thanks to the owner and CEO. Red Room. Of Blank TV. Red Room. Smitty. Way back. Yeah, the Red Room. Yeah, that, and that place. Yeah. What, what, that, what, that that, what did that hold? Uh, what did that hold? Like a hundred people, maybe. What yeah. year was Played that? Played there a lot. Ninety-four, ninety-five. Screw thirty-two, maybe. Screw thirty-two tour. Yeah. yeah oh, screw thirty-two. Yeah. Fury well, sixty-six. One of a couple of those. It was uh, Mickey from Fury sixty-six right, told me right, to see right, you guys. Right. He's like, you gotta see these guys. He's like, they're from the East Coast and they play what you love. <laughs> and it was it was love at first sight. That is cool, man. <laughs> And then I think we saw them at the Vets Hall in maybe yeah. 96 or 97. Right, but when I was leaving, before I left uh, L.A. That's right. He, he left before I did. He okay. moved to L.A. to work at Hustler. I, I remember, right, I remember this. I remember. That's, that's <laughs> and he actually yes. interviewed you. Yeah. Yes, I remember yeah. that. We're signing to uh, Epitaph, and you went out to, like, dinner with you and did, like, our first interview with you. Right, and I think Mark was there, too, maybe? Or Mark and his Mark. wife or girlfriend? Or sister, or maybe some a, a different Stern who was a lady. Sandy Stern, maybe. Jamie Stern, his wife. Next wife. What was his ex wife? Jim Sandy. Sandy, right? There. There's so many ex wives in these uh, punk rock. It's a trail of them. <laughs> and the Stern brothers. And this trust. Let's not, let's not get anti-Stern yeah. right now. <laughs> let's let's take a right angle from that one. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, let's get back to the concept album. Comic. <laughs> okay, so we woke up one day and we're like, let's write a concept album. It's not, it's not that far off to say. I mean, yeah, no, it's, it's not it's pretty far album, off. But it's, it's not. I mean, yeah, the songs are about a lot of different things. But I think that I think I honestly think that we named it Comet for a reason, and, and the artwork is based on that too. I think it's the predominant vibe of the record. You know, kind yeah. of like not a literal end of the world. You know, that's a hypothetical. Um, situation to to get you thinking you know 
Uh, I have a thing I could interject. If he asks something really stupid, you can call it really stupid. This is that kind of channel. Yeah. And you, you can say it's not a concept album and you're a dick. Right. You're a dick. <laughs> or, or, or you can smack me in the face because we promote violence on our channel. We can do a whole Three Stooges thing right here. Okay, so oh. check this out. Not with the, not with the tequila, people. Chunk, Chunksa Records <laughs> slash Chunksa. Rise. You guys have been through a lot of labels. And now you're with Rise. Rise. Rise Records. Now, as far as me and the CEO of Blank TV and our professional industry knowledge, We've, we understand that that is a record label that doesn't recognize the state of Israel. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. This guy. Uh, <laughs> hey, you know, Rock we're we're going to need your comments on that. Uh, on <laughs> now, we, we know they're from Portland, but I, you know, I, I was under the impression that it was a Christian label. They hate Jews. They hate Jews. They do. That's how we knew right off the bat. That was the label for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! You're so famous on Twitter. I will do this. <laughs> They're not Christian. Labels. I'm missing these guys from Asbury. I thought they were to start was. with. To start with, that weren't they all fascist? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's like of mice and men and stuff. I, I, we thought. That, didn't you think there was a Christian label? Uh, I thought we there were. was all Christian men to start with. I don't. I don't know that. I think they've grown. We were a bit surprised. I, you, know, you, might, you, might I, you know, if, I don't know. I don't but know if we, they are. We barely pay attention to the other bands on the label, as you can see. <laughs> All we, we know figure is hot water music, like, and then uh, we came right in after hot water music. Yeah. Like, or are they on water, there too? It's good, for, good enough for we us. We just know yeah. Craig, the owner, and he seems like. Now, oh, that guy's totally cool. I met him here in Portland. Yeah, they're dudes. right outside. Good dudes. Right Oh. I met that guy at a show. He's super nice. Yeah. He's really cool. Well, how like, come they won't let us play the videos? I don't know, but I, he said we're, he's we're like, I like Blank TV. We're not allowed to show Rise Records videos <laughs> yeah. on our channel anymore. Until they, now. Yeah, uh, until we sort that. We, no, we used to have them on all the time, and oh, he yeah. just asked that we just pull them all Epitaph, down. Hellcat's gone, yeah. Victory's gone, well, Side they, One's they, gone. They all did, though. Right? They, all, they all said you can't show our videos on your channel. It's probably Why? a blanket thing, because they probably, they probably do it like for across the board, you know? Right. Well, yeah, it's not specifically us. They're like, they're like, hey, if we have the vid videos, don't you? No, we haven't for Jesus eight years. What the fuck? The last thing we got was when you guys announced your new record. Are you guys making this shit up? No, uh, Epitaph. Why does Epitaph well, say you can't play our videos? God, nobody. It's like, in else your. Plays their videos apparently, it's in your contract. Universal. Uh, music. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. 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 Red Gerwitz sold all our publishing, everybody, all the wow. bands at once, in Let's one big like blanket. An interview about, about music and stuff, yeah. yeah. This is oh, I wouldn't, music, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind hearing this more about that. Stuff to talk about. <laughs> that's not talking that, about that's Any some shit. interesting stuff to talk about. <laughs> okay, well, here, here's, here's something I always wanted to ask you guys. Um, back in the day, when you guys started, the punk rock house that you guys lived in. There were a couple of them, actually. But uh, yeah, we had a, a sort of a series of, of punk houses, actually. But I mean, were uh, were there uh, revolving characters? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like there old... was like maybe 10 people living in it at one time, but that wasn't always the same. <laughs> was, was it in Asbury Park? No, no. it was in New Brunswick. New Brunswick. There's a couple oh, okay. of them in different parts of New Brunswick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, a lot of characters rolled through there. A lot of characters. And then... Timmy Chunks! Yeah, well, Chunks yeah, is one of, sure. he's one of the good one okay. of the good eggs, man. We had, we had some some. I love that guy. Some criminals. <laughs> we had some pretty gnarly uh, thugs too. Yeah, and then one of them we had enough space to build a ramp and do shows, which we would do shows and help pay the bills and stuff like that. Yeah, which we wrote a song about that one, One Seventy Four. Exactly. Party at One Seventy Four. One Seventy Four on Commercial right. Ave was like the the most memorable of all the punk houses. You know, we, we, yeah, we put out a DVD. Um, Five years ago. Oh yeah, you guys. Do you remember? Eight years ago. Do you remember? Like, do you remember? It's called. And it was like. And just, ironically, you guys had but... You had just like endless archival footage. Right, right. Yes. So There's some 174 footage on that. That was Jeff Penalty, right? 15, Jeff, yeah. or yeah, his yeah, other, other editing, Jeff yeah. name. <laughs> 15. That was 15 years of the Mouncing Souls. So maybe like at the 30 year mark. Was that 10 years ago? Yeah, it's been we'll, out. We'll put out Can You Remember it. God, I, you just made me feel older. That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. And the answer is no. I have shown that documentary, just to interject, to, to people who don't like punk rock, don't like, didn't know you guys, whatever. Just put that thing on. It's a fascinating story. Like, people who just yeah. don't care, they're like, oh my God, this is a great story. These are great people. It's really it, it is. fucking excellent. Yeah, those guys did a killer job on it. So, so. After, say, man, after you know. Timmy Chunks. Yeah.
potato, potato, you know? Hey, let's call the whole thing off. (laughs) (laughs) I'll be going in 15 minutes. We should. Is is it still true, though? Is it still true that you guys have played more warped shows than any other band? Uh, we're probably up so. there. I bet we're up there. I don't know if those like, know. statistics are yeah. at this point. I don't think so. available. But <laughs> I would put us the, up there in like that's one of the top. Then you guys might have them and the here. Black Veil Brides. Yeah. <laughs> the Black Veil Brides, huh? They're like the new deal. In the top five, then. Maybe I'd say top ten. Okay. Yeah, I mean between us, Fat Mike himself, between. Yeah. Gimme Gimme's, No Effects, and all of his bands, he's probably... He wins because he of the be. Gimme Gimme's and No Effects. Yeah. Probably right, right, that, right, that, right. That prize, but we're probably like, whatever. Before you hit the stage, was you singing which song? I Will Do Anything For You? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really I, uh, we'll, trim, we'll trim that, but I'm like, if you just say like, hey, it's us getting ready for you. <laughs> oh, 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 you mean like a little, you're watching black TV type of thing? No, no, uh, we'll, we'll, no yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, uh, actually sing no, 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 no. And, and you're like, you're like, we have to. Uh, we don't actually do any really that. at all. I, I, I know, I mean, make it up. I just thought that was funny. <laughs> it was, but now, now I couldn't be spontaneously funny anymore. Well, then I think of a different say. song, Dick. You missed the moment, man. You missed the moment, dude. You missed the moment, Smitty. It's over, man. What's the Titanic song? They're like, What's that? I would love would you, you for cool something. Or... <laughs> we we'll, we'll, we'll show you our handshake. We Fine. Need, we need your right hand, Smitty. We, we need your right hand. Like, 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 let me actually do it. Right hand. Actually, so, well, uh, he's got a bad well, hand. You can't use that. You're out. Yeah. You're out of the game. You can't the use game. your left hand. Oh. You can't. Come on in, DJ. DJ. Right hand's in. Up like this, okay? No. Fingertips. Fingertips touching. Fingertips. And you go like this. And then roll. And then curve. Roll like this. Roll in there. Let's do that again. That was really bad. Yeah, roll in there. Fingertips. That is we got wicked. two guys next to each other that don't know what they're doing. All right, so I start, start the roll, guess roll. game. Roll. No, 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 no. That's cool. Wait, who's doing it wrong? We're going to count as we're going clockwise here. You two guys don't know what you're doing, so it won't work. Now it won't work. Ready? Three times. Here we go. Roll. Roll. There that was totally like more erotic. Solid. I am turned on. But what was that? That was the bouncing souls. <laughs> it's not game. It's on tour. That's yeah. It's not game. <laughs> Anytime. It's Brian for the bouncing souls. You're watching Blank TV. Dangerous music for dangerous people. No, uh. Now smack. <laughs> I was like, now smack someone. <laughs> <laughs>